Hey everyone, today we're diving into all things nervous sensitization. You know that feeling when your body's buzzing and humming with electricity, your heart starts skipping beats, your breath decides to play hard to get, and your mind throws out bizarre, wild and racing thoughts. It feels like your body and mind are out of control and starting to do weird and scary things for no apparent reason. Yep, I've been there too and I know it's a lot, but let's pull back the curtain and unpack what's really happening when there's just a little bit too much voltage in our systems. Our nervous system is like a very finely tuned electrical circuit. And when it's overloaded due to stress of any kind, it will start to do weird things. But before you reach out for the lavender tea, stress itself isn't inherently bad, okay? In fact, this is why we have a stress system. So our bodies are well equipped to handle it. What they don't like is when stress is prolonged and non-stop without a break. So think of it as balance, the thing we all strive for but rarely achieve, right? Everyone has a unique stress threshold, so to speak. So the level of stress our bodies can tolerate before we start running too hot. Think of stress like voltage and our nerves like pipelines. When we cross that threshold, the voltage spikes and our body sends signals to get our attention. So maybe your heart does a little dance, your breath starts to get shallow, or you feel this strange floating lightheadedness. You might notice your mind starts to race with thoughts you'd usually never entertain. And all of that is your nervous system screaming at you, hey, there's too much voltage in the system. A sensitized nervous system throws everything at you, mental and physical, to make sure that you are taking notice. And you do right, because how could you not? It feels so real and pressing, like your whole body and mind are conspiring against you. But some people, like Bill for instance, are thoroughly unimpressed by all of this. Bill will notice it, recognize it and think, oh man, I really need to chill. So he takes some time to decompress and relax and voila, his nervous system recalibrates, naturally bringing the voltage down. But then there is you and me. Instead of doing what Bill does, we go straight into, oh my God, what is happening to me mode? Am I having a heart attack? Why are my big toes tingling? And what is wrong with me? Instead of letting our bodies recalibrate and do their thing, we keep amplifying the stress. So the voltage cranks up even higher and soon our bodies are throwing even more signals our way, trying to get us to survive something. But what are we trying to survive? Our very own and totally functioning bodies. And here's another important thing. Bill relates to sensitization as stress, while anxious people refer to it as anxiety. Why? Because of the way people perceive it. Sensitization is not anxiety, no, 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 no. Anxiety is the result of fearing the sensitization and the sensations it produces. And there is a big, big difference. This is when anxiety disorder starts to form. It's not your body and your mind that are out of order, your appraisal and behavior are. The obsessions, the misinterpretations, the negative appraisal and avoidance and safety behaviors. But the truth is, these sensations aren't signs that something is broken. They're simply what happens when our nervous system is running a bit too hot. A mind and body that are tired and overstretched. It's like a car on a slippery road. The instinct is to grip the wheel tightly and force control, right? But overreacting just makes things worse, doesn't it? The more you can release your grip, ease into the skid and let things settle naturally, the quicker your system recalibrates. We must get out of the way. All we get to do is support it in desensitization. So here is where meditation, exercise, breathing exercises, and your lavender tea come in. But they're all useless if you keep interpreting sensitization as dangerous. So correcting interpretations is the first important step. And then it's about patience and practicing getting out of your own way allowing nervous sensitization to play out, letting ourselves feel the discomfort, breathing into those tense muscles, softening the tight chest, and letting our heart race without trying to decode every bit. 
the less we resist, the more space we give our nervous system to rest and reset. So quick summary in one sentence, sensitization is a very uncomfortable state our body and mind are in when they're overly stressed, overly stretched. That is all, it's not dangerous. Anxiety is the result of misinterpreting this state as something dangerous and then trying to fix it. I hope this helped clarify what sensitization is and how it can feel really dangerous, but how it is not. I also hope that it gave you a little bit of motivation to start trusting your body again. Drop a comment if you've been feeling like your mind and body have been running their own races lately. I would also really like to hear what is your most feared sensation, so let me know in the comments below. In an upcoming video, I will walk you through the four steps of fear and how they can help you get out of this loop. If this resonated with you, then make sure to give it a like, subscribe for more, and I see you in the next one.